Today we come across an I am statement by Jesus that describes the whole of the Christian life. Let's check it out. John 10 verse 14 to 16. I am the good shepherd. I know my own sheep and they know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. And I have other sheep that are not of this fault. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. This metaphor describes the whole of the Christian life. It gives us a beginning. The start of the Christian journey is receiving and accepting the sacrifice, the death of Jesus on our behalf. That's why Jesus would repeat through this whole metaphor, I lay down my life for the sheep. That's where the journey starts. He also describes the end of the journey. It's a little more cryptic, but he describes waiting for other sheep that are not yet of the fold to come in. Elsewhere, Jesus would talk about that that will be the moment when he will return once everybody has heard the gospel message. So there's a beginning, there's an end, but what about the middle? What do we do now as followers of Jesus? Well, that's where this metaphor really has a lot of substance. Simply, Christian life, learning to recognize, listen to the voice of Jesus, and then obey it. Follow him. So in Middle Eastern times, where this metaphor is set, so there would be a shepherd and a sheep in their sheepfold at night. But most often villages would combine and they'd have one big sheepfold and then all the sheep belonging to all the shepherds would gather in that one place at night, which makes sense. But if you think about it, uh, how then do you distinguish between the sheep in the morning? How do you divide them up between all the shepherds? I mean, they, no offense, but kind of all look the same, don't they? And so here's what would happen in the morning. Each shepherd would take a turn to go to the sheepfold, stand at the entrance and call out to his sheep. And his sheep would recognize the voice of their shepherd and would then follow their shepherd out to pasture. That's what Jesus is talking about. He's talking about being that shepherd. And we, being his sheep, know him, trust him, have learned to recognize, ah, that's the voice of my shepherd. And then to act on it, to follow him, where we will find pasture and where we will be protected. So may you come to know, to recognize, hear the voice of Jesus and follow it.